can move around the said Joe, or like the person who's the subject who's saying the words in the different order. One way you could do it is these apples are red said Joe. Now notice that there's a comma here. There's a comma, even though it would be a period here, it's, it, the sentence continues on until said Joe. This is where the period takes the place. And so capital T, these apples are red, in quotes, because that's what he's saying. It's comma first, and then it's the quotes, said Joe. If you want to put the said Joe inside of the, these apples are red, you wouldn't put it, these, said Joe, apples are red. You'd break it up into subject and predicate, to these apples, said Joe, are red. So that's what we have down here. These apples, comma, because the sentence continues the whole way, and then quote, said Joe, comma, quotation, are red. These apples, said Joe, are red. Now notice that, see this A here? It's lowercase, and it's lowercase because it is a continuation from these apples are red. Notice here that inside of the quote, there is a period here, not a comma. And there's a period there because it is ending the entire sentence. It isn't just ending the one particular quote that it has up here. So, these apples are red, said Joe, they are pink lady apples. Now, I chose this one because this the T is capital. And it's capital because these apples are red is a complete sentence. Except there is no period here. Even though there's not one there, there's not one here. They are pink lady apples. Here's where the period it is. So it's capital inside of the quote because it's a new sentence separate from these apples are red. Now, we have, if you want to put the Joe said at the beginning, it'd be Joe said, comma, quotation, these apples are red, period. Now, the subject, Joe. It's asking, what is Joe doing? Joe said these apples are red. So that's one way of doing the, the, how the person says what they're saying in different places.